Guys, welcome back to Relaxed Running. Now, today I wanted to do something slightly different. I wanted to have a look at the or my personal favourite runner from all time in uh, in the AFL. Obviously, it's a it's a tough choice because there's been so many guns uh, over the years, and and there's different things that that different people look for when you're talking about a gun runner. Um, what I was looking for, uh, well, what qualified this particular bloke to, to be my choice was, hey, some runners are, are really good at running a lot of Ks. Some runners are really good at running at a high pace. This bloke, who is Lewis Jetta, uh, does a beautiful job of, of doing both of those things. But even more so, what I like so specifically about this bloke is, is the way that he moves. Now, Obviously, technique is, is my area of profession. It's the area that I'm focused on. It's the area that I'm working with a, a lot of the footballers um, that I'm coaching in their, in their running training uh, quite closely on. So it's important to me to, to be able to include that in this. But what I wanted to do through this particular video is, obviously, the, the players who I've worked with closely know how individualized, know how personal different running techniques are. But to get a little bit of an idea of what it is that we're striving for through actually visualizing it, through seeing it through a bloke like uh, Lewis Jetta is is really helpful. So you're going to notice a few keywords that I'm using throughout here. I'm going to be referring a lot to, to relaxation and how we see it, tension and how we see it. I want to have a little bit of a look at arm swing and what some players in these clips are doing really well, what some players are doing really poorly and why that is significant. So uh, this is this is not so much uh, how to you know develop a running training program as much as it is about how to do that running training efficiently, which honestly, it's such a huge advantage in a, a game of footy that I'm so glad people around Australia are really starting to wake up to, to how important it is. If you're using your energy more wisely, if you're running more efficiently, that means you can run faster for, for longer, which obviously in football is absolutely crucial. So uh, if you're after something more personalized, obviously you get 30 blokes from a team, you're going to have 30 different techniques. So while these uh, general tips are, are quite helpful in terms of what we can do and what we can apply to our own running um, it's not going to be specific to you. So if you want something more specific, jump over to relaxrunning.com and check out the AFL membership, which has training programs for not only pre-season all the way through to finals for all fitness levels, um, but it'll give you the opportunity just to, for, for you and I to partner up and for me to do your own technique analysis. So um, if you want to do that, I've, I've whacked the link just uh, below this video in the show notes uh, or in the description. But for now, let's just have a quick look at uh, a couple of clips that I've got here of Lewis Jetta. All right, first of all, I feel really sorry. I think it's one of the Brown twins who's chasing him here. I'm not sure which one it is, what his name is. Um, he's, he's got a tough task ahead of him. But what I want to do, just as, a, as a, a sign of what tension in the body looks like, if you have a really close look at Brownie here, you can see that obviously he's quite a muscular guy. He's definitely not a, a, a player who's known for his strong running ability, as good a player as he was. Um, you can see tension stored up. So whenever you see a head push forward like what you can see there, you know that there's tension through the jaw, there's tension through the neck. At this angle, it looks as though he has a, a quite a nice arm swing. But because of that tension that's coming through his neck, you can see there's a little bit of elevation through the shoulders. The problem with elevation through the shoulders is is just the fact that it resembles tension or it's a sign that there's tension around. So the problem with tension there is not only does it limit our ability to absorb oxygen correctly, but it also throws our upper body around. Now, if our upper body is being thrown around, obviously our lower body is taking the brunt of that as well. So it's impacting our stride. Um, just before we move on to what Jeddah is, is doing so well, you can also see that the arm swing of Brownie here, this is actually a perfect example. Again, his head is so far forward. There's a lot of tension through his forearm. So one thing you want to avoid um, in most capacity, anywhere in your body really, is, is too much tension. So obviously we've just spoken about the jaw and the neck and the shoulders, but tension through the, the lower arm is is unhelpful as well because uh, what we want to do we want to develop a, a free arm swing which means that we want our arms to be able to swing as freely and as naturally 
as possible. But that's all coming from the, the forearm. That's all coming from the upper arm. Sorry, from the upper arm. That's not coming from the forearm. So if we're swinging through here, like what I said about our momentum being thrown off, a lot of the time, uh, which you can see through the angle of his hand just here as well, it's sort of pointing out behind him. That's throwing that backhand almost on an angle, which is just overextending or over-exaggerating um, that inefficient energy use in the upper body. But with that out of the way, sorry, Brownie, mate, you're a great athlete. I just wanted to use you as an example of the difference between yourself and Jeddah. And, mate, so many people are in the same boats. He's a beautiful mover. So look at Jeddah here. His chin's relaxed. You can see it's almost, uh, well, it is on a slight, slight down angle. You can see that there's not a lot of tension through his upper body, through his ability to be able to look around here. So obviously in a game like footy where you need to know your surroundings, it's not just, okay, how fast am I, how fast are my reflexes, it's um, how aware or how in control of, uh, am I in the situation that I'm currently in. You can see Jetta because of his relaxation, no tension through the neck, he's, uh, he, his body is still moving in one direction while his head is just completely moving around to be able to just check out the space around him. His shoulders are incredibly relaxed. His knee lift is beautiful. Look at that mid-flight. Um, this is 60 meters into about a 100-meter run. He's still looking incredible. You can see the angle that he's on as well is, is quite nice. As his foot hits the ground here, his center of mass or his center of gravity is pretty much straight over his foot. So as he hits that, the momentum from there is bang. He's just straight into his next stride. Um, it, Landing, landing too much on your heel or, or, or too much um, on a backwards angle is, is like having the brakes on a little bit. So his stride is nice. He's clearly relaxed. Uh, the beauty with this as well is um, football is obviously so much more than just about running. It's, about, it's a skill-based sport. It's so much easier to execute skills effectively when you are relaxed. You might have seen players... Who, who, who quite often they're, they're running along. They might be a good runner, but they're under some pressure, under some perceived pressure. As a result, they tighten up and just a really inefficient disposal. So one of the big advantages that you can get through developing more relaxation in your running through your game is just that ability to be able to dispose of the ball more effectively, get that disposal efficiency right up there. Um, obviously, it's no surprise. Jeddah, he's run away from Brownie, got about another 30 meters to run. Looking around, he almost starts jogging here, kicks it through for a goal. Now, this is a, a great clip as well because I think the other option that I was going for today was Cyril Rioli, just for his ability to move, his agility. I just think Jeddah is a better mover, and I think this was a perfect clip to be able to just exemplify that. What I want to show you here is not only the things that we've just spoken about, about how there's no tension through his body. You can already see here Rioli chasing. There's a little bit of tension through his shoulders, which is no surprise. It's our natural first movement when we're trying to go at fast pace. But what I want to show you here is Jeddah's ability to manipulate his leg speed as well. You can see that he's so in control because in a moment, he makes a slight move uh, to the right or left. I can't remember. And then just watch the, the speed of his legs pick up. It's, it's incredible to see. And here, bang. He runs around again. The only reason he has that capacity to pick up that leg speed is because of the relaxation that's going through. If you're tense or you feel like you're already going at max speed, you feel like you've uh, you know you've got nothing left to exert. Obviously, you're not going to be able to turn around, uh, turn over that speed like he's just done here. What he goes on to do again, uh, beautiful bounce. He stays so relaxed, disposes of the ball, still runs away from Rioli, who is he's just a gun. Uh, and gets the ball down forward. This is just a, a little bonus clip just before I, I, I finish up and uh, sort of summarize this video. It's just another nice little glimpse of, of what a great runner looks like when they're running. So uh, how does that apply to your running? Well, we said at the start, there's a few things that you can do, but as a start point, as a general rule, something that applies to absolutely everyone regardless of your technique, is trying to develop some form of relaxation or develop a cue that's gonna help you relax. So if you feel as though you're a player who might get tense when you're tired, when you're under pressure, um, when you're nervous, it's that classic deep breath is a great place to start. So also uh, another way to eliminate that tension through your forearms as well as that breath is imagine holding some eggs in your hand and as you're running, if those eggs are being cracked, then there's too much tension. So Final cue as well is that as a general rule, around about a 90 degree angle through your arm, so about a, an angle like that, 
is a great place to start. <clears throat> you really want to eliminate um, that, uh, what do you say, that momentum being developed through throwing your arm back like that. You want that momentum to come through your upper body, through your elbow. Um, if you imagine that uh, you know, you're trying to elbow someone behind you, which in a game of footy might actually be the case, um, yeah, that's where you really want to generate that power. There should be a real relaxation through your hands. Relaxation, honestly, it's something that, um, yeah, pardon the pun, relax running is the name of the channel, and rightly so, it's something that I'm so passionate about. Uh, it enables you to, to run more efficiently and do it for longer, but also, as we spoke about just a few minutes ago, it allows you to dispose of the ball far more cleanly. If you can be relaxed as you dispose of the ball, just watch the efficiency of that movement um, just improve. Another thing uh, that uh, we could go into more detail with this, and as I said, if you want to jump over to relaxed running, I can analyze your actual film footage, give you guidance as well as training. Uh, but the angle of our body is an important one. We don't want to be too upright. We don't want to be too leaned over. We want to have a, a nice, uh, slight angle forward, just as we spoke about with Jetta before, so that when our foot hits our uh, foot hits the floor, we've got that nice uh, body mass over the center of our foot, so that it can just propel us forward. We're not putting on the brakes. Um, as a result, release of that tension. Um, our stride length is going to remain lo uh, longer if we can if we can stay relaxed. Obviously, this is stuff that um, you know. If I go into it too far, it's it's too general. So, uh, hope that helps, guys. If there's any questions, make sure you whack them down in the comments below. Any concerns, reach out to me. And as I said, if you need more help, jump over to relaxrunning.com, and uh, I'm more than happy to point you in the right direction. All right, guys. Happy training, and uh, I'll see you all next week.